Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to relieve some stress by melting a hole in this piston here. And uh, why do you ask I'm going to melt a hole in this perfectly brand new piston? Well, for one reason I don't need it anymore. I only have one of them. And the main reason actually, I'm making a video, an educational video today, about air fuel ratios. And we're going to demonstrate it using this oxyacetylene torch here. Let's talk about air fuel ratio first before we even melt a hole in a piston or set any fires. I'm going to start with these two glasses of water. And now we started talking about fire and why are we talking about water now? So let's, let's start with this. And I'm going to use gasoline for my example here. Uh, so say to burn this amount of gasoline here, we need this much air to completely burn this amount of gasoline. And for gasoline, that would be 14.7 parts of uh, air to get one part of gasoline. And that's where we get the air fuel, fuel ratio of 14.7 to one. So it's 14.7 parts of air to one part of gasoline and we'll completely burn this amount of gasoline with this much air. So that's basically where air fuel ratio comes from. That 14.7 we would consider a storage and that would be the air fuel ratio for best fuel economy within the cruise range. For performance, we are gonna want maybe an air fuel ratio of around 11.5 to 12.2 to one. That'll give us the best horsepower torque varying on your engine. Okay, so basically now I'm gonna explain what it means to run rich. So what it means to run rich would be we would have a little bit more fuel in this cup. And now, if we wanna burn this much fuel, we don't have enough air now in this cup to burn this much fuel. So now there's fuel left over. So that's what it basically means to run too rich. To run too lean, it's the opposite of that. We fill this cup more. There's barely any gasoline in there in our example, but we have a lot more air. Now there's enough air in here to burn all this fuel, but now after all this fuel's burnt, there's still gonna be more air left over. That's basically a visual representation of what it means to run lean. So what happens when we run lean? Usually when you run too lean, your combustion temperature is increased way too high, and that causes potential engine damage as we're gonna shortly demonstrate. Okay. So we can uh, basically uh, talk about air fuel ratio with this torch here. We have acetylene here, which will be equivalent to our gasoline. And then we have oxygen, which will be equivalent to say opening the throttle plate on your throttle body, or increasing the boost on, on your supercharger or turbo. So let's start with just introducing the fuel. So this is what it looks like when you're just burning mostly fuel. This would be like a rich air fuel ratio, say a 10 to one. And we can demonstrate on our piston here, when you're running 10 to one, you're dumping all sorts of fuel. What's gonna happen to the piston? I'm just gonna shut off the torch here just to explain. Uh, we'll get a shot of the piston. And you can see a lot of soot on the piston, it's very black. And that's usually what happens when you say you run like a 10 to 1 air fuel ratio. And also you have a lot of unburned fuel left over. And uh, what happens with the unburned fuel, it gets through the rings and it starts to wear the skirt area of the piston. And that extra fuel drips into your oil pan over time and it causes wear on the bearings because it dilutes the oil. So that's pretty much what it means to run too rich. That's a, that I'd say this is like a 10 to 1 air fuel ratio. So now we're going to add a little bit of oxygen into this flame and see what happens. I'm going to try and uh, achieve a desired 14.7 to 1 air fuel ratio and let's see what happens to the piston. Let's see, maybe something around there. So let's see. As you can see on the piston, we have no more soot. This is a clean burn right here. This is ideal for cruising and good fuel economy. So now let's see what happens when I add even more oxygen into the flame. So let's see what happens when we add more oxygen without adding more fuel. You can see that's getting louder. That flame is burning a lot, lot hotter. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna simulate doing a wide open throttle pull with an excessively lean air fuel mixture. All right, so I fitted a bigger turbocharger to this car, hypothetically speaking. So we're gonna try again.
So there you have it. We melted a piston. Just to zoom in on the piston here. This is an extreme scenario. Most uh, automotive pistons, they're built very robust, but they're not really designed to handle running at wide open throttle for an extended period of time. Obviously, the forces in your engine are far greater than what this torch can produce, and this would happen in your car a lot quicker than it would happen with this, with this torch over here. So it just goes to show you how important tuning is and maintaining the correct air fuel ratio and everything. So there you have it. You've seen what happens to your pistons in your car when you run too lean. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.